The um, students went to Ringma Orchard just outside Lewis to pick the fruit. Uh, they do a brief sort of quality control and make sure they're picking the best fruit. And then that bring, gets brought over here to the fruit factory in Brighton and we process it. It's a three stage affair. First of all, the fruit gets washed. Uh, quality control, make sure there's no bruises or the dreaded coddling moth getting into the apple. And Okay, so can you see the apples? We're going to have, after they've had a wash, you're having a quick look to check that they're okay. Anything that you don't want to eat is probably what we don't want to put into juice. So like this bit here doesn't look very nice. So all we're going to do is cut it off. And is everyone aware using a knife safely? Yeah. Does everyone feel happy doing that? There's two rules. The one, first of all, is the claw one, where you keep your fingers back a bit. Once that's been controlled, then the fruit goes into a mill and that grinds up the apple to make a pomace. That pomace is then put into a hydro press. And the hydro press is basically a big rubber balloon that fills up with water and the mains pressure. And that water, that balloon sort of presses the juice out of the pomace. That juice gets collected. And we then either put it into plastic bottles for the students to take home and that's the really yummy stuff, that's raw apple juice at its best. Or the other option is for them to pasteurise the juice. So then they put it into glass bottles and that gets simmered for 20 minutes, bringing the temperature of the juice up to the magic 73 degrees. And then the juice is pasteurised and can be kept for over a year that way. Um, for those that are interested, uh, raw apple juice, if left long enough, becomes cider. And so they had a quick look at the cider making process. And we talked about vinegar, cider, cider vinegar being such a fantastic health tonic that it is.